Okay, so welcome back on this uh, discussion on basic engineering mathematics. So for this um, part of the video, or for this video, we'll be talking about prefixes, no? common engineering prefixes or common prefixes that we are going to use in our study of engineering. No? So we'll now have here the prefixes. So in our last video, we discussed about Units. We learn about what is uh, the purpose of um, putting a unit to certain quantities, no? And also, why why do we need to put also prefixes? So an overview of that, and the also engineering notation. So we now will be focusing on prefixes. Okay. So for example, if I have a quantity, no? a quantity. Okay. So, we, I have here 1,000 meters, no? 1,000 meters. If I am going to write this one, especially if I am making a calculation, of course, it will be, um, it will be interpreted as a, as a measurement of length because we have here the unit for length, which is meters. So, that is the purpose, again, of putting a unit to a quantity. So, for us to know what is the quantity that we are um, denoting or that we are um, writing. So, if that is in meters, so we know that that quantity is, is a measurement of length. No? But, if we are if I'm going to write this one in a uh, computation and the co the, the computation contains many quantities also this quantity will be cumbersome no cumbersome especially if it is now combined to other quantities so that's why we, we uh, in engineering we um, usually write this one as one kilometer especially in our study of um, speed no speed and distances that is in physics so one kilometer also for example we have 1 million no? 1 million volt okay so usually we will not write 1 million volt in our um, computations no because it will be again cumbersome and we will have a somewhat complicated solution so we will write this one as 1 mv or 1 mega volt okay so the k here and the m is known as maybe i'll write this one in green no k and your m are called the prefixes prefixes no so a prefixes denotes no it denotes denotes multiplication multiplication or division by a certain or particular amount okay. so this is what meant by prefixes so it is also called prefixes because it is usually or it is put before a unit so before pre so that was it is called prefixes if it is after if it, if it is after something it is known as suffix no so in your um, english English, so you know what is a prefix and a suffix. But for this, uh, for this one, we will be focusing on the prefixes because it is put before a unit. No, 
prefixes. Okay? So, we, I will have here a table no, taken for our, from our book, no? our reference book. Okay? So, let's just have this one. Okay? We just... Okay. So, these are the commonly used prefixes in our study of engineering. Of course, there are many prefixes. So, it is... Um, up to 26, no? 10 to the power of 26, no? the last time I checked. No? So, and also times 10 to the power of negative 26. No? But nonetheless, we'll be using the common prefixes, no? which are very commonly used no? on our study of engineering. So, we have first giga, no? or the prefix is G. The name, the name is giga. It means multiply by 10 to the power of 9. Okay? So, of course, you must also have a knowledge on indices or exponents, no? Because 10 to the power of 9, it means that you multiply 10 9 times by itself. So, 10 times 10 times 10 up to 9 times. Then, you have m mega. So, that is multiplied by 10 to the power of 6. So, we have here that is 1 million, no? For 10 to the power of 9, that is 1 billion. Kilo, so that is multiply by 10 to the power of 3. That is also meant by 1,000. So, milli, that is M, that is multiply by 10 to the power of negative 3. Or, divide the number or divide the quantity by 10 to the power of 3. So, this one. Okay? Or, 1 over 1,000 or 0. 0.001. Okay, so... The, there is also a trick for milli here. If you want to convert this given quantity here into milli, you just move the decimal point, no? the decimal point, maybe we'll use a pointer here, the decimal point to the first significant digit. For this instance, instance once, we have one, two, three. So you, you move three times. So if it is three times, so that is, that's why it is having here in a negative three. So, if you move three times, then you could write that one as one milli. So, you could write that as one milli. So, this one, M. Okay. So, that is how you are going to convert no? your given quantity into a, um, a quantity with an S, uh, SI prefix or a prefix. No? Okay. Or you can also divide, no? like I said, divide the given quantity by 1,000 or 10 over 3. Then we have micro that is multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 6. So you just move that one, the decimal places, it will be moving 6 places. Nano that is multiply at, uh, multiply by 10 to the power of 9 or divide the given quantity into 10 to the power of 9 or just move your... Uh, given quantity, the decimal play, the decimal point of your given quantity nine times. No, then we have pico, so that is multiply by ten to the power of negative twelve. Okay, or divide your, your given quantity into by ten to the power of negative ten to the power of twelve. Or you have this number that I believe that is one, two, three, four. This is trillion. No, one over one trillion. Or move the decimal places of your given quantity by uh, into 12 decimal places. Okay, so that is the SI prefixes or the prefixes. Okay, so we will have here an example. No? So I will give you a uh, technique no, on how to convert the given quantity with its unit into a uh, you uh, quantity with a uh, prefix no with its with its prefix or with its unit with pre prefix for example we have 25000 meters no so this will be our first example okay if you are going to convert this one into a prefix no into a unit with a prefix so the very first thing to do is we could divide this one by 1,000. No? Okay, 1,000. Or we could relate that one as 25,000 meters over 
10 to the power of 3, then we will have 25. No? Because we are using 10 to the power of 3, so that will be kilometers. No? 10 kilometers. No? Because 10 to the power of 3 is 10 kilometers. Okay. So this is converting. No? The other method is to all count the decimal places, the one that which I um, have an overview uh, a while ago. Okay, so we have 25 meters. The, de the, the decimal place for this one or the decimal point is here after the last zero. So you just move that one. For example, if you want to have that one in kilo, so kilo is 10 to the power of 3. So it means it has, you will move the decimal point three places no so one two three so these digits here will be omitted no so we have we will be left with 25 then three so that is kilo no because three decimal places kilo meters okay so that is how you will going to uh, convert a given quantity into a quantity with a prefix. Okay, next, for example, we have 0 0.1 oh, not be using 1 here, no? 0 0.00072 Okay. 0 0.0072 Okay. Now, we will just move the decimal place no we need uh first we will put here a unit that is farad okay we move this one one two three then we will try to move this one to the first decimal uh first significant digit so that we say it's a significant figure digit that is the first non-zero number after any zeros no so we have here Seven, no. So our decimal places is now here. We just omit this one. We will have seven point two. This is one, one, two, three, four. If we are going to look here, we have four or not. So we don't have any four. Okay. So maybe we have this one ten above negative six. So we just move this one six times, no decimal place. We move six times. This is one, two, three, four, five. 6 okay 6 so we will add 0 here so that will be uh, 6 no so we will have this is our decimal places we just omit the zero digits so we have 720 so we could have this one our 0 0.0072 um farad we could write that one as 720 micro Farad. Okay, so that is how we are going to convert our um, our given quantity into a number with a prefix. So this is example number two. This will be example number one. Okay. Okay. So now we will try again another example for this one. No. Okay. So, for example, we have, this will be number 3, no? We have 75,000 Newton, okay? So, this is um, 75,000. So, we just move our decimal places, no? For example, if you are to convert this one in kilonewton, no? We'll have this one in kilonewton that will be 3 you know 10 to the power of 3 so we move our decimal places 3 uh, we move our decimal point 3 places no so we have 1 2 3 so we're left with 75 so we will have that one as 75 so three decimal places no? 10 to the power of 3 that will be kilo so you have 75 kilo newton what if we are going to convert this one into giga newton? No, giga. It's uh, just 75. You write this one, giga newton. Would we say giga newton? 
So that is 9, no? 10 to the power of 9. Or we, we just divide this one by 1 trillion. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 1 billion. But we we'll just have the shortcut, no? the easy way. So we just move all these similar places here. Okay, we move all these similar places. So it is um, 10 to the power of 9. So our exponent is positive. So we'll move to the left. No? So just like what we do in kilonewtons. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So our decimal point is now here. So we just add 0, 0, 0, 0. So we omit the 0 here because they are now considered as uh, non-significant numbers. So we could write this one as 0. Because it is now it will now be a decimal number zero point zero 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 so four zero seventy five giga newton. Okay, so this is the answer. No, okay. So if you want to um, convert this one to, for example, if we, the given we have to convert the given seventy five um, newton into giga newton. No. So, if you want the long process, you just divide that one by 75,000, divide 1 billion, no? because this is the equivalent of 10 to the power of 9. No? So, you have nine, uh, 1 billion. Okay? So, maybe we'll have our calculator. Okay? So, let's just have our calculator. No? Okay, let's just show our calculator on the word, no? Okay, so we have, so we will do this one, no? This one, 75 divided by divide 1 trillion, oh, 1 billion. So we have 1 over 1 billion. Okay, so to 3. Okay. That will be equal to, so that is, oh no, I forgot to put the 75 in the upper part, no? 75,000. It will be equal to, so just have that one in, so this will be in giga, no? Okay, so this is. Okay, so that will be so zero point seven seven five. We just set this one into oops. Answer. Okay, that is four over three. Ah, uh, three over four thousand. No, four thousand. Maybe we just have our set up here. No same so let's just express this one into okay so we just so that is this one so we have 0 0.00075 no giga newton so it is the same here no so this is the shortcut this one so that is the shortcut and this is the long method on converting our different quantities okay okay so now let's have the other way around no for example we have um 35 megawatts i want this one to be in watts no how we are going to convert that one so we know that mega from our table here above no so let's just go back to our table okay Okay, so mega that is 10 to the power of 6, no? 10 to the power of 6. Okay. So we could say this one as 35. Then we will um, have the value of mega times 10 to the power of 6 watts. Then 10 to the power of 6, so meaning we will multiply 35 by 10 to the power of 6, or that is equivalent to here. 1 million okay so we just multiply that one so we have 35 times 1 million 
So that will be equal to 35 million watts. Okay? Another one. We have 300 milli amperes, no? So we need to convert this one into amperes. So we have 300 milli is times 10 to the power of negative 3, no? Okay, times amperes. Or we could have this one as 300 times 1 over 10 to the power of 3. So from you, from our topic about exponents, no? So if the exponent here is negative, you can bring down the exponent and the base, then the exponent will become positive. Or this is equivalent to 3, 000, uh, 300 times 1 over 1,000. So we just um, 300 divided by 1,000, so that will be 0 0.3 amperes. Okay, so it's, it is much easier to convert a given quantity, a quantity with uh, with prefixes to its base uh, quantity, no, or to its uh, base unit, compared to converting a base unit into an XI prefix, no, a unit. Okay, so one for the road, no, we have one example for the road. So we have twenty-five pico farad. Okay. We will convert this one into farad. Okay, so 25 pico is times 10 to the power of negative 12. Let's just check here in our table. Okay. So, equal to how many farad? No? So, we have, we will just have this one, 25 times 1 over 10 to the power of 12. Okay, so that will be 1 followed by 12 zeros, or we could have our calculator. So it's, let's go to the calculator. Okay, no? So we have 25 times 1 over 10 to the power of 12. Or well, that is equivalent to, I believe this, this could not be written more, no? Huh? Okay, that will be, uh, it's just, have this one, norm 2. Okay, so 2.5 times to the power of 11. Okay, so we could write that one as, so we have here 12, so we'll move our decimal places from this point here no from the from this point here 12 times no so we'll have 25 no this are decimal places 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 we'll put our zero here point zero 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 Farad or zero point zero 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 one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so four five six seven eight nine ten farad okay so as you can see that is the reason why we will try to represent our quantities no our quantities with si or with prefixes okay so as you can see here, this is the actual no, number or the actual quantity on its base unit. But if you are going to write that one with a prefix, so we will just only be writing this one. Okay? So I hope it, it is clear now what is the purpose of prefixes and how to convert um, uh, units, no, uh, quantities with base units into its prefix, no, prefix units and vice versa okay so i hope you learned something for this video thank you for watching and as always enjoy learning within this one the ftr region